mirrors. Now mirrors are a special kind of surface that has a purely specular uh, reflection, so no diffuse reflection. And uh, we can see that demonstrated here where the laser beams are striking the surface and the reflection is at a single uh, angle and direction which changes depending on the angle that the incoming light rays uh, strike the mirror. And uh, this is given by the law of specular reflection which says that the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. So these angles are measured uh, from a line perpendicular to the surface of the mirror and it says that the angle of the incoming incident light ray is the same angle as the reflected outgoing uh, light ray. Now we can use uh, ray tracing and uh, this law of specular reflection to tell us how an image is formed on the surface of a mirror. So let's say that the character is being illuminated say by ambient light and some of the light coming uh, from the character is striking the mirror. For example, this light ray maybe strikes uh, up here on the top of the mirror, but by the law of specular reflection, that light ray is reflected um, back uh, towards the top of his head, so it does not enter his eye, so he does not see that light ray. On the other hand, a light ray from that same spot if it strikes another location on the mirror by the law of specular reflection, he does see that light ray. So uh, he sees a light ray coming from this spot on the mirror as uh, coming from, uh, being from the top of his head. Now, if we take a light ray coming from his nose, striking that spot on the mirror uh, by the law of specular reflection, it is reflected up over his head and he does not see that light ray. He does see a light ray that strikes uh, that part of the mirror as coming from his nose because that one uh, does reach his eye. And similarly, one from his necktie striking uh, this third spot on the mirror, uh, he sees that. So these um, three locations on the mirror are where he sees the top of his head, his hair, where he sees his nose, and where he sees his necktie. So tracing those back, uh, that is what he appears to see is this um, image inside the mirror. Now this also explains to us why a diffuse uh, surface uh, does not form a mirror reflection, because if you are looking at that spot on the surface, you see some light rays, uh, you see a, a light ray which comes from the top of your head because uh, light from the top of your head striking that spot is scattered in all directions. Uh, but light coming from your nose striking that spot, uh, some of that light also enters your eye. So you see a blend of light coming from the top of your head, from your nose, from your forehead, uh, from every part of your face, and so that um, mixture, uh, you don't uh, resolve any particular image on a diffuse surface. Well, uh, using uh, ray tracing, we can also uh, make other predictions. For example, the, the size of a um, full image of your head will appear in a flat mirror, a plain mirror, that is just half the size of your head. And in fact, uh, if you have such a, a hand mirror and you move the mirror uh, farther away from your face or closer to your face, you always see the same um, amount of your face, basically the same image, uh, regardless of whether you bring it uh, closer or farther away. Uh, now we can explain how this works is if you are looking in the mirror, uh, the top of your head uh, that light ray uh, strikes this top of the mirror and so you see the top of your head at that spot in the mirror and uh, you see the bottom of your head at this other spot in the mirror and you notice that the uh, this is achieved by having a mirror that is half the size of your head. You actually see in the mirror an image of your entire head. 
let's see a little video um, demonstrating that. So here I am walking towards a full length mirror and you notice that uh, my image always fills the same portion of the mirror. I'm uh, roughly filling about 80% of the um, mirror with this uh, what's called a full length mirror. Uh, and by the way, this, this mirror is only about four feet tall and yet it um, takes my entire image plus a couple of feet in uh, above and below. So here's some um, stills from that video. And again, notice that my image uh, in the mirror fills the same area of the mirror regardless of my distance from the mirror. Again, this is all predicted by ray tracing. Now, uh, the mirror image is often thought to be left-right inverted, but actually the image is uh, front-back inverted. Uh, the reason we think of it as being uh, left-right is when we look in the mirror, we see our left hand on the um, uh, opposite side, but it, we would have the same effect uh, if we simply uh, turn around, uh, when you turn around, um, your left hand uh, switches uh, sides. Um, so. Now it's uh, difficult to uh, correctly produce um, mirror images and uh, especially when you want to achieve a certain uh, look for the uh, character and for the um, image seen in the mirror. And, and often in paintings, uh, you see uh, incorrect uh, mirror images. Usually the uh, image is uh, much uh, closer to the surface of the mirror than, uh, than it should be. Um, in this one by, by Man uh, Manet, it's actually uh, in a completely incorrect uh, location. Now, in um, uh, animation, what uh, can be done is uh, using a mirror camera to form the image that's seen uh, in a mirror. And uh, this has the advantage that uh, if you place the mirror camera in a um, front-back symmetric uh, location from the mirror surface, then you get the correct uh, mirror reflection. But you also have the flexibility of adjusting the position of the mirror camera a little bit uh, to get exactly the right um, uh, pose for the character both uh, outside the mirror and inside the mirror and as long as that adjustment isn't uh, too extreme the mirror reflection still looks uh, correct. Now uh, mirror reflections uh, you should realize that uh, they are not uh, exact duplicates uh, of course there is a visual perspective that has to be accounted for so uh, this first image of the bird is nearly a um, top-down uh, duplicate, but we see with this uh, deer in the water that uh, by perspective we can see underneath the deer. Similarly, we can see underneath the bridge in its uh, mirror reflection. Now, another uh, effect uh, is, uh, and this is similar, is a parallax. So, uh, in this uh, photo, compare the mirror positions of the trees in the reflection compared with the forest in the background. So uh, these trees, the forest uh, appears in the um, uh, original to be uh, near the tops of the trees, but in the mirror reflection, uh, the forest is uh, m much further away from the tops of the trees. Uh, another similar effect comparing this um, tree and its reflection in the uh, lake and contrast that with the location of the mountain. So uh, the top of the mountain is almost at the top of that tree, but um, in the mirror reflection, uh, the mountain is uh, not close to the top of the tree. So this is an effect of, of parallax, and in order to uh, formulate the correct 
location of everything in the mirror image, uh, you have to use the ground plane when you have a mirror surface that is parallel to the ground, which uh, you have with the surface of water. So, um, so you notice that uh, here, by accounting for the location of the ground plane of the forest and the ground plane of uh, these trees on the island, uh, those are the corresponding uh, mirror images on the surface of the water. So in uh, summary, uh, mirrors are a special kind of surface with uh, purely specular reflection. Uh, ray tracing can be used to determine the image seen in a mirror. And uh, using ray tracing, we saw that a flat mirror has an image in the mirror that is uh, twice the size of the scene, or in other words, you only need half uh, the size of a mirror to um, uh, have appear uh, the same scene. Uh, mirror images are front-back inverted. We think of them as left-right inverted, but it's actually front-back inverted. Uh, mirror images are not duplicates uh, because we have to account for geometric perspective and um, parallax. Uh, of course, in computer graphics, that is often uh, done automatically, but when we are uh, imagining a scene and formulating a scene, we have to keep in mind uh, that we have these effects in mirror images.